think I've done everything. Have I? I have some news, actually two news. Are you ready? That is a smart looking load. Just got on site, reverse down here. I? That's precision. That is the almighty precision. That is. That's great. Let's just move this out of the way. Yeah, light, light. It's all looking good this morning. And I have some news. Actually, two news. Are you ready? This is one. New boots. I can finally say to myself that I bought new boots. And the, and the other set of news, guys. Is this? Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh yeah, baby. LEDs. I love that. They look awesome. Don't they look cool? I actually ordered, so I ordered a five meter one. I was gonna cut it down to size, but I thought five meters perfectly fits around that bed area. So I thought I'll get me money's worth and I'll use the old lot. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy. I mean, you can't see the red flag in the back, but it still looks cool. <laughs> anyway, good morning, everyone. How the devil are we? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is James. If you are new around here, then I am a 32 ton driver. So I'm a class two driver. I don't have my class one license, but who cares? Uh, I am a class two driver in the southwest of England. And so basically that means if you like country tides and stuff like that, then I hope you enjoy. <coughs> anyway, today is Monday, Monday the... Uh, Monday the 14th. So, yeah, brand new week. I hope everyone's all right. Because I am, because I like them. So yeah, brand new, brand new week, brand new video. As we say, this is gonna be the 36th, 36th or 37th video in a row. I did one one week, but that was about my holiday and I didn't class that as a vlog. So this is technically 37 videos in a row. So I'm doing all right, I suppose. I think I've done everything. Have I? Yeah, I think I have. Anyway, just leaving the yard. Um, so I've got to head to... So for the majority of people that aren't gonna be aware, I work for PSB Scaffold Sales, so we sell scaffolding. Uh, but I'm heading over to actual PSB Scaffolders. Mr. Van, I've had a much operation out your... So yeah, I'm heading over to the actual Scaffolders, in a sense. Um, I'm delivering a little bit for them, just two packs of boards, and then they're loading me up and we're going, as far as I'm aware, Biddeford um, for a delivery. So yeah, today should be fun. I've got me LED lights, I've got me new boots. So I'm in a pretty, pretty good mood today. That is a smart looking load. Bonjour container lorry. Thank you, young sir. We have left. It's 9.37. So made sure it's all strapped down properly. It's quite high stuff, so and it's all like plastic stuff, like hard plastic stuff, so um very light very easy to move it was moving when I was strapping it 
So I, 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 I like strapped it, undid the strap, then re-strapped it. And I did that with every, every single strap because that way I know it's, it's shifted it a little bit. And hopefully they should be all right. But I'm gonna stop sort of just before I jump onto the M5 and check my straps. And then when we come off the M5 on the A361, the North Devon Link Road, because we are going to Bidayford, um, I will check them again. So I'll probably get out and check them twice. Our ETA is currently like quarter past 10, but I'm gonna average it to about half 10. Uh, big man Dan, AKA my boss, is, well, one of my bosses, is, uh, has set off in the van. He's coming with me, but he's gone to get some food and he'll still probably be, be there. So, yeah. Just getting on to the A38 and let's have a nice little trip to Biddeford. Let's put some, let's put some tunies on. Let's put some tunes on. Dan the man is behind me, my boss. Well, one of my bosses, like I said earlier. Um, just had a phone call to say there's a big truck that have just pulled in to the site and we might not be able to get unloaded yet. So I'm going to pull off the main road here, pull off here, I'm going to pull over to the left, Dan the man's going to overtake me in the van. He's going to go first so we know what's happening because <laughs> I don't blood in her. It's sights, you can't, you can't help it. In my opinion, first come, first serve. That's just the way it should be. Let's pull it now. There he is. Down the man. Oh, oh yeah, that was a big branch. Lord in order. Right, we aren't actually too far away from the site now, so fingers crossed. Everything's good. But if we have to wait, we should have our break. Perfect time because it's like nearly half 11 now, so I've still got to have a 15. So if I have to take a 45, it, do, it, do, it doesn't matter. It doesn't actually matter. And then it'll be gone 12 o'clock. I finish at 5, so I won't have to have another break. So it's not too early for a break. That's all I'm saying. Oh, God. Come on, Citroen. Move over. See what the crack is. So weird, because all these houses along here, when I used to work for my old company, doing pallet work, I delivered to that site when they were building all those houses, which is pretty cool. And now it's not even a site anymore, it's just a normal living area. Oh, well I see a massive crane there, so I'm assuming that's site. I see a massive crane. Massive crane, absolutely humongous. Hola, so yeah, just got on site, reverse down here. Yeah, just pulled in off the road. Um, the guy there is unloading a load of timber frames and he is gonna be about an hour. So, yeah, that's that. But you get to site, you have to wait all the time. It's not nothing new <laughs> and the guy, uh, unloading super nice bloke um, from up country probably about he said about five and a half hours to get here from his yard um, yeah bought his own truck 22 plate daft lovely truck I'll show you in a minute gorgeous truck um, yeah really nice I just had a good chat with him and then I got back in my truck and realized my cameras were still on record and I was like oh for god's sake because <laughs> that just takes up so much memory um, but yeah really nice bloke um, so he, the i'll just put it on a 15 minute break and see what what's happening after 15 minutes and then if not i'll just carry it through to a 45. i'll show you this truck quickly there it is nice truck and there's my truck not as good looking as that daft but i still love her <laughs> Just taking, taking all, all the side posts out so I don't have to do it once I get on site. And when he comes out, I've got to drive out here, pull out, and then he drives out and I pull back in. So 
easy peasy. Right, so we're in sight now. Big cranes unloading me. Um, yeah, had to reverse and it was quite a last minute unexpected thing. So it was kind of like, oh, what did you get in the sight? <sighs> yeah, big old cranes unloading me. Which means I don't have to do it. Which is bloody ideal. Um, turn all my lights off. Yeah, good to go. And we are done on site. Just need to put post Cody in my sat nav EOV. I'm not gonna lie. And thank you very much, Dan. I know you're watching this video, but I'm not gonna lie. This has been an incredibly easy biz like, easy day. <laughs> so thanks. <laughs> um, yeah, great. Yeah, just coming off site and um, yeah, I've got offloaded with that big uh, crane, uh, which is pretty bloody awesome. I just gotta squeeze out of here now because there's a car right here. Oh, I've got loads of room. I've got bloody loads of room. <laughs> yeah, loads of room. Lovely jubbly. I'm also going to lift up my tag axle a minute. Get that done and out of the way, and then it's easier to turn. Easier to turn with the tag up. So the time is 1.48 and our ETA is 20 past three. So a full day out, a nice day out, because I was with, uh, because I was doing it for PSB, not anyone else. And yeah, it was good, it was good fun. And I learned a few new ways as to how to uh, drop some some stuff up for the crane which is actually very interesting to be fair. let's get out of here so yeah like i said cheers dan for the uh, incredibly easy day i very much appreciate it right i just got back to the yard i really really need a wee like very bad and all that stuff if you can see it all that stuff is what i've got for tomorrow so lovely jubbly i'm gonna jump out and have a week god damn it yeah i think i've got all this for tomorrow crap all this stuff as well damn that's a lot there's my load lovely jubbly there's zach's truck i blocked him in because i'm a precision male this is Zach's load for today. Nice. But yeah, this is the rest of my load. Nice and simple. Yeah, lovely jubbly. And now it's starting to get darker. The light should be noticeable. Nice. Yeah. I'm happy with them anyway. Anyway, guys. I'm about to park up for the night, so yeah, I'll see you whenever. It is currently 10 to 6 in the morning. Just doing a manual entry on my taco. Finished at half five yesterday. So. Da -da 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 -da. Um, was then on break until. Half past five this morning. Lovely jubbly. Those LEDs look pretty cool, don't they? Anyway, yes, it's uh, nearly six o'clock in the morning. And we're actually with Ben because we're convoying down to St. Ives today. We've got big, big, big old delivery. And what I'm gonna do the door. Look how sick that looks at night. Torture, bro. I think 
it looks good. Very good. Give me checks. Try to try fins. Good and dandy. There's Ben's vehicle there. Yeah, everything's good this end. Everything looks good. Pretty good. I don't know if you can tell probably on the camera, but that is the load. Nice and big. And there is Ben's Ducato, ready to convoy with me down to St Ives. We're just coming actually past sort of we're well we're, we're, we're well into Cornwall um, and I don't really know where we're coming past to be honest um, and I don't really care because we're actually sitting on the APA for another 37 miles and then we come off and then we get onto another dual carriage or another part of the dual carriageway and then another single carriageway but a big one yeah, so we've got a lot of driving still. Benjamin is still behind me. He might as well sit behind me because he doesn't know specifically as to where to go in the site. Um, and yeah, it should be a fun delivery, a good delivery. Benjamin is with me, so I'll have a bit of help. I'm hoping it's not going to absolutely chuck it down. I came here, not yesterday, the day before, so Tuesday. Today is Thursday. And it was hammering it down the entire time we were there. The skies aren't looking... Well, yeah, they are. They're looking pretty bad. <laughs> pretty grey as to where we're going, anyway. And... And as I always say, when I am in Cornwall, I am always greeted with these amazing views. And you just can't complain. You know? the south, Being a driver in the southwest is one of the best things to do. Look at the rainbow. Rainbow! That's a big rainbow, that goes like right up. But that might be because we're really close to it. That is cool. I've never caught a rainbow on video. Well, on my blog anyway. I've got plenty of pictures. Of, I actually got a picture of uh, a double rainbow the other day, which I thought was very, very cool. Uh, that's on my Instagram, at Truck with James, if you want to check it out. Uh, but I was definitely right. I think it's going to be raining like the entire time we're there. I checked the weather for where we're going and it's raining currently. I mean, we're still like just under an hour away. But, so I'm hoping it stops raining by then. I'm hoping, but we'll see when we get there. But I just love that rainbow. That's cool. Even though it's very faint now. It's just disappearing. It's disappearing the closer we get to it, which makes sense. Oh, it's been a long drive. It's only been like two and a half hours, but, well, two hours, 40 minutes, but it's been a long drive. We're nearly there. We're about five minutes away, thank you. overhead off of the back of his van and jobs are good at I also need to make sure I'm not in anyone's way
Right, me and Ben have just finished the delivery. It's all that stuff over there, crazy amount of gear. We've got to now load Ben up with the strops on the pallet and some bearers over there. We're gonna chuck them all on him. Um, and then, and then we're gonna leave, but we're both absolutely drenched and it's not been fun, but it's been nice having help. So it's done a lot quicker. But we've been here for, well, yeah, we've been here for over two hours now. Yeah. Anyway, let's get packed up and let's get gone. Come on then, Benjamin, let's go home. Wow, there's a good rainbow there. Oh my God. Bloody hell, you can't even see it. That's a shame. I can't show you either. Anyway, we have left. Look at that view. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that, lovely jubbly. Ben was in front of me. He's now behind me. Um, as I am taking center stage to go back to the yard, he's going to follow me back. Um, we're going to have to stop for a break on the way back. Uh, so we're just going to, yeah, cruise along, get onto the A30, and stop for a break somewhere. Where? I don't know yet, but yeah. That drop was a bloody wet. It was actually dry for the half of it, and then it just got soaking. It just started hammering it down with rain and me and Ben were on the receiving end of it. Uh, but all is good, it's done. It's currently nearly 12 o'clock. Um, and we're looking at getting back to the yard. If I calculate it correctly, probably about half two-ish. Half two-ish, so not too bad at all. Um, I'm really- Could you say that again? I'm really glad that Ben was with me though, to be fair, because uh, yeah, that was a lot longer than the one I did on Tuesday by myself. Uh, it felt like the same amount, but it was more of the case of, we had to split more stuff. So it was just a bit more fussy, but the customer's happy at the end of the day and jobs are good. And so yeah, we're gonna cruise on back, eat our lunch and just bloody get the yellow just get the hell out of it really. I've been back hours and currently Zach and James are playing with each other's buckets. Zach's in his happy little digger and James is in his forklift with the bucket on. But yeah I'm just packing up because the current time is 20 to 5. We're packing up to get ready to go home. So, I know it's 16.41. Um, but yeah, it's been a good day for everyone, I think. And I can't vlog tomorrow to carry on this vlog because I don't think I'm actually going anywhere tomorrow. I think I'm a yard boy tomorrow. So yeah, just packing up. The journey back was quite tiring, but very good. Very easy as usual. Um, yeah, I'm literally just packing up. So yeah, I'm gonna head off. But thanks very much for watching everyone. If you go ahead and follow me on Instagram um, it's at Trucking with James I upload on there on a daily-ish basis um, so if you want to see what I'm up to go and follow me on there thanks for watching I'll see you in the next week's vlog ciao ciao I'm just taking my tackle out look how satisfying this is oh yeah